y la que ha hecho muy feliz al exilio cubano en la tarde de hoy. No podemos esperar que se vuelva a hacer el trato, que Chávez se vuelva loco, que eh, Raúl cometa errores. ¿no? Tenemos que recordarnos de las palabras del general Antonio Macero. La libertad no se bendiga. Se conquista con el filo del machete. Not all terrorists are treated the same. Clearly, those that are favored by the administration can operate with impunity inside the United States. People who want to partake in violent acts against Cuba are protected. And yet you see individuals who are trying to stop uh, those acts of terrorists to try to uh, uh, make uh, all American law enforcement uh, uh, aware of these activities are the people who end up being prosecuted. people who end up in, in jail and those who blow up airliners those who blow up hotels those who can, can conduct acts of violence are free they're the toast of the town because the administration is paralyzed by their own policy with respect to uh, to cuba with their own policy with respect to the war on terror and what you see is a level of duplicity uh, that uh, is incredible i asked uh, posada in general um you know, if his conscience bothered him from his life as a, you know, a militante, you, um, and he said, no, that he slept like a baby. We were fighting again the United States, again Castro, again Latin America, and, and in Russia, again in Russia, we were fighting again everybody. What do you call a person who fights against everybody? What do you call that then? Oh, that's a crazy. Who fight against everybody? That's crazy. But I mean, is that a freedom fighter or is that a... Independent. If you fight against Castro, you are a freedom fighter. Definitivamente son luchadores en contra del comunismo. Y esa plaga, lamentablemente, no hay otra forma de erradicarla que con las armas. Con las armas en la mano. Is there an obsession in the United States with Fidel Castro, which is a valid question to ask? Yes, I think there is. And it all has to do with this deep-seated hatred of Fidel Castro because he's responsible for altering so many people's lives that live in this community. I'm against obsessions. It makes bad policy, okay? And that is why the current policy doesn't serve anybody. The Cuban people, the American uh, people, the national interests of the United States, in my opinion, are being well served with this policy. Why are they obsessed with Fidel Castro? Fidel was the leader of the process. That some people in the United States will never forget. I welcome the opportunity of having anyone uh, assassinate Fidel Castro and, and any leader who is oppressing, oppressing the people. Llegamos al final de nuestro documental. Rápidamente eh, me meto ya para despedirnos hasta la semana que viene. Tratamos de ocupar el mayor espacio de nuestro programa en compartir eh, este excelente ejercicio que nos había propuesto eh, el legendario Saúl Landó, eh, se lo vio también en imágenes, habrán visto también a Danny Glover, eh, el famosísimo actor estadounidense, también un 
eh, férreo militante por los derechos civiles y las minorías dentro de Estados Unidos. También se pudo ver cómo empezaron los cinco héroes cubanos que hoy felizmente ya están en su patria con sus familias y su pueblo, también en la primera línea en la defensa, en estos momentos tan delicados en los que está transitando la Revolución Cubana. Tal vez un viejo amigo me decía, ¿cuándo no tuvo la Revolución Cubana momentos delicados? Sigue férrea la batalla de las ideas. Sea este un pequeño aporte, nosotros nos despedimos rápidamente. La invitación para que nos visiten en principioesperanza.com.ar y en los diferentes lugares dentro de las redes. A mí me gusta decir redes, también me gusta decir empresa de publicidad que venden contenidos, pero bueno, se conoce como redes. Hasta la semana que viene acá por nuestro canal.